Hello there and welcome back to Banished. It's um uh, it's been a day since I uploaded because of the extra long episode uh, last time, but uh or well, the whiny episode I like to call it. We had a fire. I believe that almost well it took out most of the village and I didn't like that, so basically I got a lesson in uh, build some damn wells and we are doing that we're going to build some more of them hopefully I can prevent any future fires no uh, promises though so uh, we'll have to see how this goes but as I said I'll aim at preventing any future fires but I can't guarantee that uh, that happening I think we'll also go ahead and build a secondary stockpile here and here especially uh, especially close to the traders and I also believe that last time I uh, decided that I would try to optimize optimize my city meaning that I don't want people who well live too far away to well work have to go too far for work and things like that so I'm going to be using the part tool a lot to see uh, where people work and if there's something uh, or some place I need to actually optimize here so yeah I definitely need to optimize here since someone is actually working up here so uh, I think I need more houses down here to actually make uh, actually make this work which is uh, not the best to be perfectly honest uh, potentially I might actually just have to go ahead and build uh, I think one house will do the trick but it's kind of bad that I actually have to build houses to uh, to keep this place going but I think we'll set up two houses here I can't really set up uh, much else so it should be it should be fine but yeah we'll uh, keep on uh, building up the city here I think we were planning on setting up some extra farms basically just um, securing the uh, the food production and other than that we'll just uh, we'll just keep on building keep on working and uh, see how it all turns out it should be interesting with the building of several new farms in the area up here we are going to need a lot more workers in order to actually make this work fun fun we also had some food issues there some I had to store some chickens but other than that things were fine the uh, as I said we do need some people to work here there's also some uh, problems with my first or the first place we I built here there's simply too many people here so I might actually have to demolish a couple of these houses in order to force them to move or I might have to find We'll try to set up some uh, other work, some extra work. I'm tempting on setting up a farm right here. Of course, it's going to, uh, it's going to some degree here screw over. Well, screw over the uh, hunters, but I do need the hunters for the leather. So I'm a little bit unsure what I, what to do here. How much leather are actually these guys providing? They're providing a fair bit of venison and a fair bit of leather, but. Uh, a little bit unsure how would actually uh, how would actually how would actually set this up. I could potentially go for this guy moving him, but once again he produced the exact same number. So I'm thinking that we will probably create a couple of smaller farms here just to give a couple of more people a little bit of uh, work in the area. Without yeah, there's actually a small mountain here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see here. So I would have to set up here. One small here. There's probably a mountain over here as well, isn't it? Nope, it's fine. So we're going to set up two extra crop fields here in order to try and, well, get people to work in the area. It'll probably hurt the hunters a little bit, but I think it, I think it will be fine. We have some people who are cold, we have some people who are hungry. And the reason for that is, once again, they have to walk very far. Uh, to actually get to their homes and that is uh, that is really starting to become a, a big issue here unfortunately so uh, we're going to do or put more people into farming and hopefully that will that'll make something work here I also will have to trade I think for a little bit of food but uh, as I said hopefully here we can make something work we'll simply have to wait and see we're still having trouble with people dying of starvation and it's actually it's not really that they're dying of starvation, they're dying of the walk. The fact that it's, uh, well, far from their homes. That's basically the problem, that's why they are starving. 
And of course this is going to just become a bigger and bigger issue the uh, further into the game more or less. So um, I'll have to see if I can find a way to, to sort this issue out because right now it's definitely annoying. But we are going to try and keep up the, uh, uh, well build up the area here and use it as, as I said, a food hub. I'm also going to be very, uh, well, very clear on the fact that I want the people to work here to work close, but... Oh, this, this is the problem here, as you can see. People actually are working on clearing and building live miles away. So, um, yeah, that's that's a bad thing, but uh, hopefully, hopefully not too many people will die. This is the issue with, I guess this is half the issue with a big map, you kind of have to be better at micromanaging than what I'm currently am. We have another one here, it's dying of starvation, a farmer. And another one. Well, this is not good. We are also using all the stone and all the iron, so I need to I need to buy some more once it actually comes a uh, a trader buy. At least we have a lot of tools. We still have a uh, clothing issue here. Died of old age. Died of old age. And also my uh, <laughs> my graveyards here are being filled very very quickly. So I think I think I have to expand with a couple a couple more here. A lot of people are dying. A lot of people are being born constantly. So. It's not really a surprise, and apparently uh, also someone has been... Uh, still people are dying of starvation, still because of the fact they're working too far away from, uh, from where they should be. I guess we'll plant potatoes and cabbages, and we'll put people to work. There is still the problem, as I said, that people in this city actually run down to the southernmost city to work, and that is a problem. I'm tempted to try and set up a bridge or something here as a connection, but... There ain't no good walk paths that I actually could use. What I could try and use here, or what I could have tried, is to make a bridge from here to here. That could that could work, but it would be a hilariously long bridge. I have no idea how much it would actually cost. So let's see here. Yeah, as you can see, it would be a hilariously long bridge. It, I would get the wooden bridge achievement, though. Uh, so I think it will actually save up the necessary resources and build this uh, down the line. It should cut down transit times, at least from this area to uh, the area down here, considerably. So it's probably not a horrible idea, and we might actually go for building a secondary bridge from here to a bridge like that too. We'll have to we'll have to see. What is this? That's a deer. I was just wondering what it's uh, in the train. But yeah, we're going to try and, as I said, set up a food producing village down here. Its sole purpose will be producing food. Uh, the only issue, of course, will be making sure that enough people actually live down here and work here to make that a reality. And, of course, also the fact that we have a clothes issue, which is also a little bit annoying. We have far too little clothes to, uh, to make sure that everyone will have those, so I have to figure something out there. We'll simply have to wait and see how it all plays out for now. We have a uh, guy who actually brought everything, I think. So let us uh, 3,000 units. I need both stone and iron. I don't really need coal right now. We have stored a ton of to tools. So I think we'll go for 200 stone and uh, 200 of this. Iron 32. That is about 65, isn't it? Oh, almost did it. 66 and then we'll remove one of these. No, one, not two. My bad. There we go. So I now have the stone and iron necessary to do a lot of things. I should probably also considering buying some uh, some logs here. I think we'll start buying logs more or less. And the reason for that is simple. I will need them to build a potential bridge. So uh, I'll consider that, and we'll see what we what we end up with here. With here for now, I'll be aiming at building the six homes and try a little bit more at uh, well maximizing. Uh, as you can see, a lot of these people work a fair distance away, so I need more people to actually live in this area to to make sure everything everything is all right. But yeah, I'll uh, keep on trying to uh, well maximize the food business here, and we'll see how it all plays out. I just found found the prime example of a hilarious uh, work placement. Try and guess what this guy 
where this guy actually lives, the guy who works here up at the hunting, uh, up the hunting cabin. Just guess once where he lives. Um, I'll give you a hint, it's not close. The guy who works up at this hunting cabin here lives so far and well that he'll die on his trip there. No joke, he lives down here in the southern district. So what I think we actually have to do here is build a couple of houses, uh, a couple of houses more up here. So that I can actually make sure that these people don't simply suddenly roll over and die. So we'll build two stone houses up here to uh, try and help with the uh, help with the walking distance, more or less. I don't really think I have too much of a choice in the matter. We also have, once again, food issues, mostly due to the fact that I have been building a lot of houses. But uh, the food is stable mostly through the winter, and then as soon as we come to summer, everything just vanishes, which is uh, a little bit worrisome here. I guess I'll buy uh, 1080 pumpkins, since, well... I don't really have much else uh, to trade here, unfortunately. The firewood is still a very much a trading commodity, but um, it's starting to become a real issue. I might actually have to set up a couple more wood cut woodcutters, a couple more foresters, and uh, hopefully we can make something work if I do that. But for now, we'll simply have to wait and, uh, and see what we get of, uh, of traders, especially considering that during the summer we get uh, we lose tons of food. But yeah, no matter, we are going to, uh, at least the harvest here seems to be uh, fairly alright. And also, once again, we'll check the padding of these houses. As you can see here, they seem to have sold itself. It's just a temporary thing that the hunter was up up north, uh, which is uh, which is good. Let's see, are these... Yeah, there are actually people working fairly close here now. So it seems like at least this southern district has solve these problems well almost it still needs to be some more works uh, more works or jobs up here it looks like hmm what I could do of course is just add a uh, add a couple of people to the yeah we're actually going to add two people to each of these and the reason is simple by adding a couple of people well hopefully they won't be drawn from the Southern District or anything like that but by Adding some people here, I'm pretty sure I can get firewood quicker, which will be uh, important, at least a little bit important. And also we have a couple of traders incoming, which uh, hopefully brings tasty stuff. And once again, we have people who are hungry because of the fact that they're working far, far away from their homes. But I also decided to cut down or clean out this area so I can start planning a, uh, well, first of all, some more farms, but also some more housing, which will be uh, important. Let's check here what he brought. He brought stone and c iron and coal. Do I want to buy some coal now? I think I do. Let's use all of our firewood. 6,000 units. We'll take uh, two. No, we'll take 300 coal. We'll take uh, 200 iron he brought. And with the last hit, then we'll take 335. My bad. Uh, Thirty-seven, and then we can keep. Uh, then we can keep one of our firewood too. So we're getting a fair amount of. Uh, we're getting a fair amount of stuff every time the uh, traders actually enter the city. But with four of these traders, the main problem actually becomes uh, the fact that we aren't actually producing enough firewood to have the maximum amount every time they uh, they visit, and uh, that is of course kind of a problem. It does seem, however, that we are getting pretty close to the maximum yield from most farms, which is which is good. But even so, the food food is definitely most likely going to become an issue, and the same amount of of clothing here. I have no idea if it's actually just the tailors not managing to work efficiently, or if it's actually the fact that they're missing the ingredients here. Let the let a wool let a wool. It's simply that five tailors isn't enough for. A city of this size? That could be the issue, but... Damned if I know. Hmm. Second question is if I have enough, uh, enough wool and enough leather. 
Of course, I think I actually have to set up a couple more, first and foremost, cattle here. They are producing a letter, but they are really producing a, uh, a big amount of it. Uh, well, they're actually producing a decent amount, but I think we're actually going to set up a couple more of, uh, both for cattle, a couple more, what is it called, pastures for both cattle, but also for, uh, but also for sheep. That is going to be the main focus, setting up, setting them up right, just to make sure that we have enough leather, and also enough, uh, and also enough wool. Uh, I think I'll also set up five more of the, uh, five more of the tailors. Most likely down south here, since we do have uh, since we do have open space, I might actually build a couple of light, uh, tailors here, since well we are just using it for more or less a firewood cutting area. So uh, we'll have to see what I'll actually do here. I'm a, I'm once again I'm a little bit unsure what the best uh, what the best course of action here would be, but uh, we'll consider that next time. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, phrase, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye!